And that's a big key. What's Shayna up, Baszler's everyone? Liv Morgan, Shayna Baszler, SmackDown Women's title clash the at the castle. It's been oh, happening for going Baszler, on Corey, this for like 15 minutes. Got as right. well as she could have designed. You're absolutely right. It's the only thing stopping 15, Shayna Baszler from becoming minutes. women's champion is the sheer Liv will. Liv has shown a ton of fight, a ton of heart. Liv is living her dream every single day, refusing to relinquish it, even while perched on the top rope. She sends out a tweet yes. every day. Yes, Liv. I love this. Liv Pulling on Shayna's arm and her and head was slamming a turnbuckle. I love Liv's idea. Position on God, the top. she did try to Good worker and wrestler to Liv with a running power bomb out of the corner to Shayna. Shayna counters into the choke. Her finish. The clutch. Liv, got, uh, Liv got out of it, but into the damn armbar. Liv gets to the robes, fight. Yes, she gets to the robes. She rolls her body. Great counters by Liv. Liv's hurting. Her arm is hurting her. She's holding it like this. Shayna is like a shark right now, out for blood, clutch, Liv rolls her back, two, Liv had her down, knee missed, Liv, code breaker, and now Liv Morgan has Shayna set up for oblivion, yes, Liv, yes, she retains and wins clean, no interference, from Ronda or uh, Charlotte. No interference at all. Finally, Liv gets a, a successful title defense. This is one of those cases. I'm looking at Liv Morgan. I'm looking at everything that was done to Liv Morgan, and I'm going, Liv is still the fucking SmackDown Women's Champion. I'm not sure Liv does either. But nonetheless, she's still the SmackDown Women's Champion. This was a physical matchup. But first, Liv would hit... It was a good, uh, very fast-paced SmackDown Women's title match. Liv wins. That's a good thing because under Triple H, you got to build up new women. you got to build up the women's division. you got to build new stars. So far, so good under Triple H. Gunther, the guy's a new star. He's a veteran. But he's a new star in the WWE. He's the Intercontinental Champ. My God, Gunther, Sheamus, had a match of the year. You gotta watch it if you did not see it at Clash at the Castle. Liv is a new star as champion. Also, I don't like them being tag champs, but Rhea, not Rhea, uh, Raquel and Aaliyah are new stars that are being built. You gotta do that for the future of, for the good and the future of the company. You gotta do it. Here's Paul Heyman talking about <laughs> extreme rules. Paul Heyman's in the extreme rules promo in Philly. That makes sense because Paul Heyman's a fucking god in Philly, in my opinion, for what he did with ECW. October 8th. Extreme Rules. I thought October was our crown jewel. I don't know why. Maybe that's November. No, November Survivor Series. So, like, maybe crown jewel is in February? I don't know. Liv Morgan wins. Retains a SmackDown Women's title at Clash at the Castle 2022. I fucking love it.